Okay, here we're going to look at another uh, couple examples of solving some equations where we have to do a couple steps. And we can do both B and C uh, in this example, I, I think, in this video. So we've got 9x minus 4 equals 77. Again, to get the, the term involving x isolated, I'm going to start off by adding 4 to both sides. So we'll be left with simply 9x on the left. Negative 4 plus 4 will be 0. There's our equal sign, 77 and 4 will give us 81. And now uh, to, to get our solution, again, we want to be left with just 1x. Well, since I'm multiplying by 9, I'm going to divide both sides by 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1x, and 81 divided by 9 is also 9. So our solution for part B here will be x equals 9. And again, notice you can always check these. 9 times 9 would be 81. 81 minus 4, hey, that is 77. So you can always check them. Uh, part C here, uh, same idea. Okay, we've got a fraction. Uh, no big deal. So I've got uh, uh, an n over 5. We've got negative 4 plus n over 5 equals negative 8. I want to get the term involving the variable, in this case n, I want to get that by itself. Since I have a, a negative 4, I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So negative 4 plus 4 will just be 0. We can drop down our n over 5. And negative 8 plus 4 is going to be negative 4. And to get n by itself, since I've got n and I'm dividing by 5, I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. So on the left side, uh, 5 divided by 5 is just 1, n. A negative and a positive is a negative. 4 times 5 will be 20. And we have our solution uh, for part C. It says n will equal negative 20.